the deadly weekends because of the weather here in Colorado. The most common cause, weather caused, of, uh, related cause of death in the state, well, it struck again. Twice this weekend, killing two people in Rocky Mountain National Park. I took a look into just how often this happens. A breathtaking view, literally. We didn't see the bolt, it was just a white flash. I felt like something hit me in the head and I lost my vision and hearing for a solid 10 seconds. Mary Iverson and her son Dan were standing close to 52-year-old Gregory Caldwell on Rainbow Curve when he was killed by a bolt out of the blue. Could have been any one of us, so I'm feeling pretty lucky. It was the second death in as many days in Rocky Mountain National Park. But just because you're inside doesn't mean you're completely safe from lightning. Talking on a phone or touching an electronic device like a computer could hurt you if a bolt strikes nearby. Same thing if you're taking a shower or touching a sink. Pipes are great conductors of electricity. It comes the hail, I think. Last week, Chad Greenlee survived lightning that traveled inside of his garage as he was videoing a severe storm. I smelled it, and I, before I could turn and step away, bam. It hit. <laughs> The National Weather Service says on average, lightning kills about three people every year in Colorado. Since 1980, El Paso County is the deadliest county in the state with 10 deaths. A real reason why the saying goes, if thunder roars, it endures. And according to the National Weather Service, July is actually the deadliest month for lightning-related injuries and deaths in Colorado. And remember, of course, lightning can strike 10 miles in any direction from the center of the storm. So basically, if you hear thunder, you could be in danger from lightning. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, obviously, pay attention, please. No kidding.